This huge painting of Chatsworth was painted by a Flemish-born artist who was active in England in the late 17th century called Jan Sibberechts. He was a landscape painter and he came here principally to paint country houses. We don't know exactly when it was painted because it's not signed and dated. From internal evidence, we can say at present that it was painted somewhere between 1703 and 1708. We don't have documentary evidence, like a letter or anything, to tell us why it was painted, but we can figure this out quite easily. We have to assume that it was the first Duke of Devonshire who had created the wonderful Baroque Chatsworth and his gardens, who had commissioned it, and indeed there are a few payments to Sibrechts from the Duke in 1699 and 1700. And we also know because Sibrechts painted a number of watercolours of the area. It's important to the study of English painting and particularly that of view painting of the time. We probably see the first Duke commanding the artist to update this landscape painting of Chatsworth to take into account the latest developments. So in the case of the Cascade, which was later lengthened, I think he probably instructed the artist or one of his assistants to paint in the Cascade House soon after it had been built to the end of the Cascade. The painting, of course, is a fabulous record and many things have changed since the early 1700s. We have the fun of seeing for the first time in colour parts of the garden that we only know about either through engraving or from the archives here. We see the colours of the plants on the parterre. You can look in the garden and see fountains that are no longer there, the Neptune fountain on the west side of the house. Or on the middle parterre, there are two water amusements, never seen before, extraordinary things. And we see in colour the first Duke's squirting willow fountain made by Mr. Ibeck in 1693 and the precursor of the willow tree fountain that we see today. Many things fascinate me about this amazing painting. The early history of the painting, for instance. We think the first Duke commissioned it, but why didn't it come into his collection? There's no record of it, and it ends up in the collection of another family. Love to be able to sort that one out. When we first saw the painting in 2008, it was hanging high on a staircase and was covered in thick orange varnish, making it very difficult to see. So when we were invited to see the painting again prior to sale, we find out that it had been cleaned and relined and was now showing all that detail that we'd missed when we'd first seen it in 2008. It was amazing. It's one of those miracle moments.